Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. And for today's makeup tutorial, I'm gonna be recreating this look which I posted on Instagram. To everybody who saw this post and left me a really sweet comment or sent me a message, thank you so much. It meant so much to me and really your thoughts and your comments are really what really motivates me and what helps me grow as a person. So I don't take any moment that you guys give me and any chance that you guys give me for granted and this means a lot to me so thank you so much and so today we're going to recreate that look today so I actually already have my base makeup I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer I actually like this because it's much thinner than the foundation so I just take a little bit on the back of my hand and I use Kabuki brush and I just duct it in and then after that I'm actually going to use my Artiste brush it doesn't have to be this brush of course you can use something like the Sigma F80, which everybody loves, but any flat top kabuki brush will do. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through the concealer or foundation, whatever you're using. I'm just going to really polish it up. Just like diamonds, you know, you have to polish it before it becomes beautiful. And it's actually exactly the same with foundation. The more you really blend it in and make the all the edges seamless, the more flawless it will look. Next, I'm going to use my e.l.f eyebrow duo. I'm going to take the cream on a angled brush and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just run it through an upward motions because I really want my eyebrows to lift up. Um, that tends to give me a more tougher look. So as you guys can see I have a guideline through my brows. On the Instagram pic the only concern that I had was that my brows were a little bit too boxy so I'm going to really avoid that. And once I have my wax in, I'm going to switch over to my powder. Okay, so I just did my brows on, and now I'm going to work on my under eyes. They were looking a little bit dark, and I really want this look to be really dramatic. I'm going to use a color correcting concealer. This is by LA Girl. This is in the color purple. And I'm going to mix it with a lighter concealer, which this one is by Makeup Atelier. And I have it in the shade Yellow Honey, and this is quite yellow. So mixing these two should really brighten up my under eyes. In real life, it looks actually really nice highlighting, but in the camera, I think it's actually catching up pretty purple. But um, I'm going to use my Anastasia's Contour Kit, and this should neutralize it. So I'm going to take a big stippling brush by Wet n Wild. I'm, going to, I'm just going to take a little bit of the yellow banana powder, and I'm going to focus this on the areas that um, we highlighted. I like stippling brushes for powders recently because they really don't pick up a lot, which I like. I have oily skin and there were times where I thought that I needed to pack on powder just so I would stay more matte. The more powder I use, I actually become more oilier and I get more textures later. So just really applying powder as much as is necessary, the minimum. Next, I want to contour. I'm going to use my Tom Ford's Shade and Illuminate in the Sun Intensity 1. This is what the inside looks like. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to take this dark shade and I'm going to use it to contour. And I'm going to go really strong today because I want to photograph today. And usually when you photograph the lights, and the sunlight or whatever light you're using, it will usually cut off 20% of your makeup. So when I do know that I'm going to be photographing later, I will purposely do my makeup really, really strong. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I have the base on and now I'm just going to blend it out. So this palette is $80 and it is very expensive, but yes, it is Tom Ford and I always use this on my client. Everybody loves it and you know if people are paying um, to give me the opportunity to you know paint and do their makeup I always want to give them the best service that I can because obviously you're getting money so you better do your best. Um, I like to use my best products as well and everybody loves this Tom Ford shade and illuminate. It does take some time um, especially if you use a lot like right now that I am right now. I usually do not use this much. This is a lot of makeup. Um, but once it, you are blended, it looks beautiful. Okay, let's set our faces now. I'm going to use my favorite powder, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And this is in number two. Clearly, I really love this powder. Again, I'm going to use my stippling brush. Again, same Wet n Wild one. I'm going to even tap off the excess because I really don't want that extra powder on my face. And now that we're done with contour and all the cream and liquid stuff, we can powder. And again, just using the smallest amount. And I still want to preserve as much dewiness of my skin as I can as well. So I'm going into my Tarte Lip Palette from Tarte. Surprise. And I'm using my Morphe M441. This isn't my favorite 
brush. This is the closest brush that I have that I, what I need. Something that has a pointy tip and that's tapered and that's a blending brush for the crease. I actually ordered a Hakuhodo brush and it's supposed to come tomorrow and but I need to film today because I don't have time tomorrow so we're just gonna use what we have a lightest brown color in the palette of course just use whatever you have I first started my shadow right here because that's where I want my most intensity and once there's not much shadow left on the brush I can start blending it into the inner corner I don't want too much inner corner color today, so I really focus on outer corner. Next, I took the brown that's one shade darker. I'm going to take it on a pencil brush. This one is by Mikasa Beauty. And again, I'll leave my discount codes in the description box. I have a 25% code for you guys, and I really love this brushes. And no, it's not a plug. I do have a code for them, but I do like them. So I'm using a pencil brush because I really want it to be precise, and I really want this to be sharp. As you guys can see, I am making the shadow pretty sharp. Next, I took a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand and I'm using my MAC 195 concealer brush and I'm just going to sculpt out my crease area. Make sure you open your eyes often just to make sure you know where you're making your fake crease, especially if you have model lids. Next, I'm going into my Tom Ford eyeshadow palette. This is in Nude Dip and I'm going to take my lightest color on a pencil brush, which it's so beautiful. And I'm just going to put it all over my lid. Next, we're gonna do eyeliner. I need for you to keep your eyes open and see exactly where you want your eyeliners to be. So right there. So you're gonna have a floating eyeliner, but I actually want my eyeliner to go all the way up here, but I'm purposely doing here because when you create an eyeliner, it tends to just be really thick. So once I get up here and I clean it up, I can just flick it up to a really fine point. And I really like to do is just drag it down. If you have monolids or hooded eyes, just make sure that you have an eyeliner that won't transfer. This eyeliner that I'm using right now is from Heroin Make, which is a Japanese brand. A Japanese subscriber sent me. You can actually buy this on Amazon, and actually their price is not bad, so you should definitely check it out. It's Heroin Make. If you're looking for something that you can buy here, not through Amazon, but like an American brand, if, so if that's something that you really, really want, BH Cosmetics has a really good one. So I'm just waiting here, just drying it, just to make sure that it doesn't transfer anywhere. You do need to let this dry first. Now we have our eyeliner. I'm going to go into the dark brown in the palette and we're going to deepen up the crease. If you get a little bit messy feel free to go back to your first blending brush to just buff out any lines that are a little bit too harsh or anything. Now we're gonna work on the lower lash line. I'm going to focus this in the center because again I like to make my eye shape a little bit more rounder just so it makes it look more dolly and bigger. So I'm going to start in the center and blend it outwards. So this is really simple. I'm just using the colors that I used on my lid and just make sure that you're connecting on the outer V. One layer of each application of color should be enough. And if you feel like you need black to really tie things up, go ahead and do that. Just be really careful when you use black because it's really, really hard to, you know, take away black. Okay, now I'm going back in with my liquid eyeliner and this is really depends on your taste, but we're going for something really editorial today and I'm doing what I did in the picture so I first connected the crease to my eyeliner and I'm creating a faker crease okay that got really thick but it's okay let it dry and then we're gonna fix it again we're gonna apply um, concealers and stuff on top and I think it's because my eyeliner busted did you just see that bubble what the hell is going on? Okay, I cleaned that up with a little bit of concealer because it's going crazy. So I'm just going to line my waterline with a black creamy liner. Okay, so this is what the eyes are supposed to look like at so far. The next step really depends on you if you really want to make this editorial and really out there. Or if you want to keep it like this and just put some inner corner highlight, I think it will look really, really nice. Personally, when I do my inner corner extension, it's more... It, it actually only works when I do pictures because, again, I am doing something that it's not really meant for our eye shape, for monolids. So it does look kind of silly in real life. So um, when I do extend my inner corners, that's really when I really just am um, doing something really bold and where my eyeliner doesn't really show. Or I'm just taking pictures and I'm not going, 
and I'm not gonna be showing it to anybody else. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm just gonna keep my eyes like this for now and just put an inner corner highlight and then do my inner corners later for pictures. And of course I'm using my Ofra Unloading Blush Stripes. Surprise! <laughs> I love this stuff because little goes a long way. When I have eyes like this, I really want that strong impact in an inner corner. And this really does it for me. Like other highlights like the Mary Luminizer. This is really nice, but it actually doesn't show up as much on me. I'm not sure what it is. Is it my skin color? Is it because, uh, I don't know, if you guys, if any you guys know the reason why that, why this isn't like blinding my inner corners like these are, please tell me. Um, I really don't know, so please educate me if you do know. Okay, let's finish up the face. I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm taking on a big stippling brush. And since we already have the Tom Ford on the bottom, we don't need too much. But again, I'm going really strong for that Instagram picture. So I am going to go a little bit stronger today. But if you're wearing this to, you know go run some errands and stuff, I really don't recommend slapping on so much. But again, you do you. Who cares? If you're watching my video, I'm pretty sure you're old enough to think and have common sense, so just use common sense. Okay, for blush today, I want something peachy, so I was gonna go with Peaches by MAC, but I feel like I always use that, so I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna use my Tarte Captivating Blush, and I'm gonna use it on my Luxie 514 brush. I actually got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag, which I freaking enjoy. Like, thank you so much, Ipsy. <laughs> so, I like focusing my blush right here on the cheekbones, like, directly where, almost like where my highlight goes. I like this method more because it actually lifts up my cheekbones and it looks, it makes it look higher and it actually slim downs my face as well. I have quite a round face so I love to slim down my face so it's kind of like blending in with my contour and bronzer. For highlight I want to again show you guys the highlight in my Tom Ford palette so I'm going to take a little flat brush I'm going to take up the cream highlight and just show you guys how beautiful. Do you guys see this? This is like the most beautiful highlight I've ever seen in my life and I love this because every time I use it on a client too it just really lifts up that cheekbone, makes every single skin more youthful and dewy and radiant, which is the main goal, which is exactly what we want. And even if I look at myself really close in the mirror, it really does not look like I'm wearing highlight. It just looks like my skin is dewy and it gives a really natural sheen. And recently, my skin has been doing well because my friend has been helping out. Um, his name is Huey. I collaborated with him in my Valentine's videos. So if you want to check him out, check that video out, and I have a link down below. Uh, he's great. He sent me a lot of skincare too, if you saw that on my Instagram. And my texture is getting so good that this highlight is on another level on my skin now. For this look, I want a nude color, so I'm going to mix two colors by MAC. I'm going to use Yash first, and I'm going to use Myth. Yash is a little bit more brown, and Myth is a little bit more peachy and pink. So I'm going in with Yash first. Gosh, I love this color so much. And I'm going with Myth on the center. I love MAC lipsticks because, first of all, it smells like cake. <laughs> like burnt sugar kind of-ish. And they're ultra smooth. Like they're not uncomfortable to wear at all. So this has like a satin finish and I want more like a glossy finish. So I'm going to layer a lip gloss. This isn't my favorite lip gloss, but I actually don't own that many lip glosses. So if you guys have like a favorite lip gloss, brand or whatever, please tell me because I need one. So the only gloss that I have is from Kylie Jenner, so I'm just going to use that. This is in the shade Shit So Cute. <laughs> so cute. Again, I'm going to only focus this in the center. We don't want to put lip gloss all over our lips. Wow, I actually forgot my, about my lashes, so we're going to do our lashes now. So I'm going to use my Tarte's mascara, whatever the name is. It's too long for me to say it, so you guys know which one I'm talking about. Is this the non-waterproof formula? I don't like waterproof formulas because they actually smudge on me like a little biatch. I like this mascara. It's pretty good for an American brand for my Asian lashes. For my false lashes, I'm using Flutter Lashes Intoxicating. These are like a Marisi favorites and they're like really dramatic. I did cut these on the ends just to make them a little bit shorter just so they would fit my eyes and they would have more volume on the outer corner just so it would make my eyes a little bit more cat-like. Okay guys, so I just extended my inner corners and there's the finished look. So I really want to thank you guys again for 
really giving me so much love and support on my last Instagram photo. It really means a lot to me. I really hope that making videos and posting more on Instagram really helps you guys to be more inspired. I really do hope that I'm really giving you guys back for what you guys are giving me because it's unbelievable. Right, I just want to thank you guys again. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!